Okay, Mike and I are going to shoot a video that shows how we do our space derby kits. So, the key to the way that we do space derbies is this little, little piece right here. I made this two or three years ago now. And this is an insert that we chuck up in our, our uh, drill. That end goes in the, the chuck of the drill. And then it lets us spin the space derby so that we can shape it. So, Mikey, you want to show how it goes in there? Just like that. Okay, now open it up. Open it up so you can see the inside. So before we glue it together, we'll put the dowel in the middle. And that helps keep everything aligned when we glue, do our glue up and all that. And then we're just using the, the tension of the, the wood um, to hold that in. We want it to be solid enough that it grips so we can spin it and shape it, but not not too tight because we got to be able to get the, the last out of the middle when we're done. So that's how we mock it up. All right, Mike, man, you want to glue it? So dad's going to do the glue because it can get kind of messy. We want to run our glue as close to the inside edge as we can because that outside is hopefully going to get sanded down. Part of that's going to go away. All right, Micah. Put the two pieces together. Now remember, we don't care if the outside lines up. What we want is the inside to line up. So use, use this on this end. Push it in there. Just make sure that we got that all centered. Okay, now pull it out. Pull it out, twist and twist and pull. Pull it out. You can do it. All right, now try the other end. Make sure that you can, get, you can get it. Make sure that that other end is aligned. Okay, is it fitting tight? Does it feel round? All right. Pull it out. We don't want the glue to stick to it. All right. So now we got to let this set up and dry. And you'll see, if you look at the outside, you see that our blocks don't exactly line up. So our, our edge is a little off there, but our hole in the middle is dead center. So we want it, when we glue them up, we want to line it around the hole in the middle because the outside's all going to get sanded. That's all going to go away. All right, Micah, how long do you think it's going to take for that glue to dry? Oh, no. Any guesses? Maybe 10 minutes. Okay, we'll come back in 10 minutes. Okay, so we've got our block drying a little bit. The next step, on a lot of these, the hole in the end here where the propeller installs, that wood is really brittle and as we sand it it gets really thin and if you don't have a good solid piece there for your propeller assembly to go into a lot of times you have problems with it so one way to strengthen that is to put a little bit of the glue into the end so that it soaks into that part of the block and it strengthens and reinforces that so Micah put a little bit of glue in on the top of the wood all the way around that hole let that soak in. Okay. Do a little bit more all the way around. That's good. And we'll let that soak in and we'll let all that dry and set up. All right. Now I skipped ahead a little bit because I, I can't film this and do it at the same time. Um, but we take the seams on the inside and we run a little bead of glue 
the super glue um, from the top and we let it run all the way down the inside of that tube until it runs out the tip. So that gives us a nice smooth surface on the inside that none of the rubber bands are going to get hung up on or caught or tear on. So we're also going to do the same reinforcement um, in the wood on this back end after this sets up and dries a little bit. Okay, Micah, so what's the next thing we're going to do? We're going to do the same thing that we did on the nose, but on the back end. On the back end, okay. So the back end is where the little catch, go ahead, the little catch installs that holds our rubber bands um, after they're twisted. And so there's a lot of force, there's a lot of pressure that's put on the wood in that area. So we're going to put a little glue there, let that soak down into the balsa wood to help reinforce the wood on the back. And make sure that when we get our, our winder stick in there, that we don't end up tearing up or blowing out the wood on the back side. Okay, so after our glue is dried, the next thing I like to do is take just a scrap piece of paper. I'm using some junk mail folders here. And I put the block on and I'm gonna trace the outline of the block. So then that gives me the overall shape of the block that we're starting with. And then I take the end of the block and I mark off some lines where that center hole is that we glued up. And I'm gonna take those marks and transpose them down here. So now we know where the edges of our hole are and we know the overall shape of the block. So Micah can draw what kind of profile, what kind of pattern he wants for what shape he wants the rocket to be. Okay. You got your pattern? Mm hmm. Did a couple different lines. Which one do you want to do? This one. You want that one? Mm hmm. Okay, so the next step is we're going to take that pattern and you're going to cut it out so we can put it over on the block, okay? You cut along that line. You don't have to cut all the block out because we're just going to use that curved edge to make our pattern, okay? Okay, so after we have our pattern cut out, we're going to transpose it over to the block. So we're just going to trace along the edge of that line. Good job, Mike, man. And once we start to spin, we'll actually be able to see that line as it's going around. So we're going to do that. We're going to trace this out on every side of the block. Got it in? over and up on the back on the front go, go ahead Job, We're buddy. all glued up. We're dried. We got our pattern transferred over. So our next step is we're going to put our, our pattern last down in to our rocket. So you push it down in there. 
work it hard. I think once you get tight enough, we'll probably have to use a hammer to get the rest of the way in. You get any further? Here, let's get the hammer, okay? Is it almost there? Oh, uh, you're getting close. Yeah, I bet I can get it. Okay. Can't really hold it down. You want me to hold it? Yeah. You can push. Remember, we want it to be tight because it's just tension that's there. holding it in there. Oh. Okay, it's starting to come through. Yep, I see it. Keep working it. Okay. Grab the hammer. Okay. And we're gonna put it right there. Can I just tap it down a little bit? I hit it harder than that. There you go. Check it. Oh, we're most of the way through. A little bit more. All right, that looks pretty good. All right, now that end, we can go ahead and chuck up in our drill. Okay, so we have our space derby all chucked up in the drill and ready to go. Now, I like using a couple different kinds of things to sand. Um, one of these emery boards, uh, you can buy these at Walmart, a pack of 10 for like a few cents. Um, they're nice, they're easy for the kids to hold on to. They've got a a coarser side and they've got a finer side so you can kind of adjust um, how aggressive you want to get with it um, then we'll step up I've got some uh, some I think it's 400 grit wet dry and then I've got some 800 grit uh, wet dry here and then we'll finish it off with a little uh, fine wool. this is the really super fine fine steel wool so it really doesn't take much the uh, the balsa wood is really soft so um, I'm gonna show you how we do it so what I've got is just a 2x4 that's got a hole drilled in it so that holds that end of my last this holds this end I set my drill on high speed and then I've got our rough shape in Mike is using the sandpaper now so we're gonna Step it up to our 400 grit, okay? Okay, remember to move it. Okay, so you see how it's shaking like that? That means we're not perfectly round. We're not perfectly um, aligned. It shakes back and forth because <coughs> it's not lined up yet. So in order to fix that, what we need to do is put a block with your sandpaper. Do you know where the sanding block is? All right. So now we got our block. We got it lined up. Ready to go? Okay, so up and down, move it around. Gordon? Okay, so we've got all of our final shaping done. 
we're going to do our last bit of sanding. So we're all the way up to our 800 grit paper. Mike is moving it back and forth. And our final sanding paper. So all the way down, both sides. All the way up to the tip on the nose. There you go. Okay, work really, really in tight by the top. There you go. Good job, buddy. Okay, feel it. Are you happy with how smooth it is? Mm -hmm. Think it's smooth enough to paint? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're done. I wanted to point out, we've got a couple cracks that have opened up. We've got one up on our nose up here. We got one on the side. Now some of these will probably uh, go ahead and close after we pull the, the center piece out. Um, but we use a little trick. Micah, what do we use to fill cracks? The stuff, the wood shavings. The sawdust? Yeah, sawdust. And what do you mix it with? Super glue. Super glue. All right, so we'll show you how to do that. Center piece. Are we going? Yep. Okay. So to remove our centerpiece, you're going to grab the rocket with one hand, you're going to grab the, the stay with the other, and I'm just going to twist it. I'm going to twist it to break it loose, and then the rest of it should come right out. Mm -hmm. So this is probably our last year using this one because the, the end is getting awfully short, keeps breaking off. Um, so we'll make another one of these. Um, I'll do another video on how I made this. Um, but we've gotten three years of use out of this, and I've done probably a dozen or more rockets using this pattern. Um, so we'll go ahead and we'll do our crack filling now. Okay, so we got to make some crack filler. What do we start with? The uh, sawdust. Yep. Okay, so I'm taking just a scrap piece of paper here. Get a little dollop of sawdust on there. All right, now what do we got to add to it? Super glue. Super glue. Okay, so we're going to start at the edge and do just a couple drops, okay? Okay, that's good. All right, so we need to take some of this in there, get that all to soak up. And then what I like to use are these, these little sanding discs. So we get that all mixed up in the super glue. It's like a putty. Now. Take the rocket. Here, why don't you hold this. Okay, so where's our crack? Here's our crack. So I'm gonna take a little bit of that putty Oh, it's already setting up on me. I don't think that's gonna work this time. We got the, the fast set stuff here. So here's what we're gonna have to do. We're gonna take a little bead of glue down in here, and then we're gonna take some of the sawdust and we're just gonna rub it right into that little bead of glue, right in that crack. Okay. That, as fast as that other stuff set up, I'll bet this sets up pretty fast. Okay, so there it is. And then we can just take our emery board and we'll sand down all that filling in there. Just around that. Out. There we go. We don't have a crack anymore. Mm -hmm. All right, you're happy with everything? Yep. So what's next? Paint. Oh, uh, before we paint. Uh, I don't what know. What keeps it from spinning around the wire? Uh, fins? Yeah, fins. Yeah, and how does it hang on the wire? It hangs 
things from the bottom of the wire. The little catch piece, mm -hmm. the hanger piece. Okay, so we gotta install fins and we gotta install the hanger. So okay. we're gonna go upstairs to do that. Okay. What I do with the, the insert is I flip it around the other way. And now this gives us something that we can hold on to when we paint it. So we're gonna go get the uh, hanger and the fins put on it and then we'll be ready to paint.